In this video, today we are going to be taking a look at Genki GK1200 portable power station and 120 solar panel. GK1200, not only you can take it around your house, but also you can take it camping, RV trips, basically anywhere that you want to go that needs power. Genki can handle it. Okay, let's take a detailed look at it. Alright, so here are some things that GK1200 offers. Its capacity is 960 watt hours. Its AC output is 1200 watts and it can take 2400 watts surge. The user menu also says GK1200 is durable for over 3000 cycles of charges and discharges and has an impressive lifespan around 10 years. It's equipped with bidirectional inverter, so it supports UPS mode. When the grid shut down, it can switch DC to DC automatically within 10 milliseconds. There are some ideas of what you can do and how many times and hours it can charge to. Phones, 100 charges. Tablet, over 40 charges. Laptop, over 24 charges. Drones, 17 charges. Cameras, mini for each, and so on. That is awesome right there. We'll definitely have to try it out. There are totally 11 outlets. We've got one USB-C PD 100 watt fast charging port, three USB-C PD 20 watt ports, two USB-A ports. Here is a car outlet, which is convenient to use it during driving, and uh, two DC 5521 outlets. And here is the light. It has three modes. And there are two AC ports. Here are three ways that you can charge it. You can either charge it to 100% through 700 watt max AC wall charging in only 1.5 hours or through MPPT charging mode in 4 hours with a 400 watt solar panel. You can also charge it in the car with an ACC cable here too. Alright, let's put this device to the test. So here I have everything set up. I have got both the AC outlets plugged in and all 6 of the USBs plugged in. I want to see what kind of load this device can pull, so we are going to turn on all the USBs. You can see I have got a mini fan, a power bank, a camera, a cell phone, a gimbal, and an ice light. Here I'm going to turn on the AC. So for the AC outlets, here I have got a laptop and a portable kettle plugged in to pour some current out of there. And the total we have got 400 watts output that are being used. It shows how many hours I can run all of this stuff before the battery completely goes dead. So that is everything being used. I want to turn off all of these USBs. I can turn that off right here. It stops charging all of these devices. We're going to drop down now. It's just charging my laptop and the portable kettle. We're going to turn those off now. Nothing is coming out of it. Nothing out of it. So one thing that I wasn't a big fan of this device is that this fixed handle. If it can be replaced by a football handle, that would be perfect. Now let's take a look at the 120 watt solar panel. What this thing look like? It folds out like this. Okay, a trifold board. We got all the panels folded out now. And we got four brackets behind here. Now let's put this solar panel on the ground and plug it to this device. It's really a sunny day today. Okay, here we go. It's getting 33 watts out of this panel and uh, around 3 hours needed to charge 4 of this device.
Okay, this is a great device to have around. You can take it on camping trips, RV trips, blow up air mattresses, blow up inflatable pools. You can take it on a job site to charge up the batteries for any power tools that you are using. You can power your lighting, your cameras, your drones, cell phones, tablets, and also tailgating. That is another big one. You can plug small TVs into this device, coolers, ice chests, mini fridges into this, and set up your chairs behind the truck. That is awesome, and this thing can do all of that. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, give it a like to let me know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to help if I can. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in next video.